Good evening, I'm Shogun Muhammad, and this is the 11 o'clock news. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the 50th anniversary of the Bahrain Defense Force. His Royal Highness hailed the role and efforts of the BDF in serving the country and protecting its achievements, attributing its success to the wise leadership of His Majesty. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, hailing the BDF for its role in protecting the country and preserving its gains. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marking the 50th anniversary of the BDF. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed appreciation to His Majesty the King's continuous support for the BDF, lauding the efforts exerted by the BDF in serving the country and protecting its achievements. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and for Bahrain further development and prosperity. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, commending His Royal Highness's efforts within the BDF, wishing him and BDF affiliates for their success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from the Commander in Chief of the BDF, BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the 50th Golden Jubilee anniversary of the BDF. The BDF Commander in Chief lauded the wise directives and continuous support of the leadership, wishing His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and the Kingdom further development and prosperity. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks and appreciation to the BDF Commander in Chief commending the efforts exerted by the BDF in protecting the country. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and for his Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the 50th Golden Jubilee anniversary of the BDF. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince lauded the role and efforts of the BDF in serving the country and protecting its achievements under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and wished His Royal Highness the Premier abundant health. In reply, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a cable of thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on this occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa marking the 50th anniversary of the BDF. The BDF Commander in Chief expressed his appreciation and pride for the support of His Royal Highness the Premier and the government to the BDF which contributed to upgrading administration, defense and training. He also wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister abundant health and happiness and Bahrain further progress and prosperity under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. In reply, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a cable of thanks to the BDF Commander-in-Chief, asserting the government's continuous support. He wished the BDF Commander-in-Chief and BDF affiliates further progress and success. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued Edict 1 of 2018, appointing directors in the Ministry of Health. According to the edict, the following directors have been appointed in the Ministry of Health. Anissa Sa'ad Al Hawahi as Director of the Communication Directorate, Seema Mohammed Zainal as Director of Supportive Services Directorate, Khalid Ali Al Jalahma as Director of Information and Planning Directorate, Dr. Wafa Ibrahim Al Sharbati as Director of Health Promotion Directorate, and Dr. Najat Mohammed Abul Fath as Director of the Public Health Directorate. The Minister of Health has been tasked to implement this edict, which becomes effective from the date of its issuance and to be published in the official gazettes. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, today received at Qadaybiya Palace a number of officials in the kingdom, businessmen, journalists, media personnel and a number of citizens. His Royal Highness affirmed that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia was developed and urbanized to serve its people and nation, adding that Saudi Arabia maintains the area's security and stability. His Royal Highness urged to support the efforts of Saudi Arabia to defend the security and stability of the region and maintain the interests of the Arab and Islamic people. The Prime Minister hailed the national achievement made as a result of the government's parliamentary cooperation, urging to maintain this cooperation to increase national achievements. He commended the Council of Representatives for its cooperation. His Royal Highness stated that the government supports all efforts aimed at achieving the aspirations of the citizens and enhancing their living and developmental gains. He expressed pleasure in meeting citizens and directly identifying their needs. 
His Royal Highness praised the Bahrain Commerce and Industry Chamber and its history of supporting the commerce sector and contributing to development in the kingdom. He added that BCIC has taken great responsibility in serving the commercial and industrial movement in the kingdom, affirming the government's support to BCIC.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qadaybiya Palace President of the Asian Football Confederation Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. He also stressed the success of the AFC reflects the abilities and competence of Bahrainis that lead to outstanding achievements. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the Confederation and its members for their role in elevating Asian football by attaining consecutive achievements, expressing the Kingdom's pride in the efforts exerted by the Confederation's President and his programs that developed this game. His Royal Highness pointed out to the role of sports in enhancing relations among nations. He expressed his wishes to the President of the AFC and all its affiliates for their progress and success. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the 50th Golden Jubilee anniversary of the BDF. The BDF Commander-in-Chief lauded the wise directives and the continuous support of the leadership, wishing Bahrain's leadership abundant health and for Bahrain further advancement and progress. In reply, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a cable of thanks and appreciation to the BDF Commander-in-Chief on this occasion, commending the efforts exerted by the BDF in protecting the country. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the Real Estate Regulatory Authority Board of Directors led by the President of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau and Chairman of the RERA, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah Al Khalifa at Rafah Palace. The RERA was established in October of 2017 by His Majesty the King to improve real estate regulation throughout Bahrain and stimulate investment opportunities within the sector. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Chairman discussed the central role the RERA will play in driving effective real estate regulation and facilitating regional and international investment into Bahrain's real estate sector. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Chairman also highlighted ongoing real estate and development projects, including Bahrain's significant achievements in introducing state-of-the-art real estate facilities and commercial developments over the years. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince encouraged the Chairman and the Board of Directors to introduce modern regulations in tune with the Kingdom's goal of accelerating sustainable economic growth and delivering promising opportunities for citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince concluded by extending his best wishes to the Chairman and the Board of Directors on their new role and wish them success in meeting RERA's goals and achie achievements. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the annual gathering of the Bahrain Merida Pro Cycling Team. His Highness affirmed that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is the main supporter of the Bahrain Merida Pro Cycling Team, noting that His Majesty the King had been following up on the team's march, which motivates them to exert further efforts to promote the kingdom and make achievements. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that His Majesty's unlimited support to the team members represents the ultimate success since its formation, adding that His Majesty's support will result in making further achievements. His Highness noted that many goals that the team had set had been achieved last year, primarily promoting the kingdom and affirming that the cycling sport represents one of the distinguishing marks in the kingdom. He pointed out that Bahrain's name had been mentioned in various world countries, which will contribute positively to the Bahraini economy, social development and tourism. His Highness went on to say that Bahrain Merida boasts the world's best cyclists, who possess high potential and outstanding abilities. The CEO of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamoud Al Khalifa, delivered a speech in which he affirmed that Bahrain had witnessed a remarkable boost in tourism as a result of the efforts of the Bahrain Merida Pro Cycling Team, hailing the support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. He added that the BTEA continuously follows up on the team's march.
Let me start with, on behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, he personally told me that he conveys his support, his admiration for this team, and as well as his regards and gratitude to everything has been done, not for the team, not on a personal level, but for the Kingdom of Bahrain. So His Majesty actually supports, follows every single race. And sometimes even he asks me about some races that I don't have the latest update. So I get sometimes uh, nervous when he calls in and I know that today we have a race or a certain stage. So he followed every single race. He always asks about Team Bahrain Marida. He knows every single step of what we're doing. And he really appreciates the effort that was done. Um, but he had to admit something. And he had to tell me that. When I told him first, we will find a team called Team Bahrain, uh, team Bahrain that will go through the UCI and race. He believed, but he thought that we would be floating around somewhere. He didn't really see that we will achieve this. We will actually start the best team in the world. I consider it the best team in the world. It's up to the others. <laughs> but honestly, he then, when he saw the team's uh, caliber from management to riders, he had a strong belief. And now, whatever has passed, has passed. We are champions and we know how we think. We look at the future. The past has been great, but the future, I believe, would be better. And we have certain definite uh, great goals for next uh, or this year's uh, season. And I know the riders are looking forward uh, for great successes, for surprises, for better results. And inshallah, we will be there with you as we supported uh, the team in uh, uh, Giro d'Italia. Hopefully, we will be as strong as we are in Tour de France. So this race is big, is real deal. But yet, nothing is impossible. A newly set up team steps up way over its weight and proves itself. But now we are talking the real deal and we will prove to the world nothing is impossible. What has passed has passed. Now we look at the future and the near, fu in the near future, uh, Bahrain Merida is only go getting stronger and better. Uh, this one is uh, only the competition and the performance side of it. Um, but the great success is not the performance, but the impact Bahrain Marida gave us and uh, have uh, uh, projected in the Kingdom of Bahrain. We could see the growth of uh, sports in Bahrain, of the community uh, being out in the streets doing some sports, and not only that, but also marketing for Bahrain and uh, enhancing the sports tourism. First of all, uh, I would like to thank uh, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for enhancing the sports tourism infrastructure in Bahrain, uh, not only uh, by creating international events, but uh, to create awareness internationally through uh, the team Bahrain Merida. Bahrain Merida, in a very uh, short period of time, was able to uh, go to two international podiums uh, and uh, uh, great uh, achievements were, were done. Uh, and that's only in the, in the first inception of year one. So I believe year two, 2018, will be a fruitful year. It will definitely uh, uh, create more awareness to the kingdom. And uh, through our representative offices, we have uh, noticed that it uh, generated a lot of positive content about the Kingdom of Bahrain, which at the end drives tourists and awareness to the Kingdom. We are delighted to be a main sponsor of Bahrain Merida team, a team that has achieved a lot in the past two years. We will continue as Bobco our sponsorship and our support for this team and we, we highly appreciate the leadership of His, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad toward leading this, this, this team toward achieving more and more and more in future. We are continuing our support to, to, to the Bahrain Merida uh, and uh, we wish them all the best. Yeah, my personal hopes are to 
helping my teammates to learning from them that I can achieve some good results for the team next year or in future. And for the teams in general, we want to be very good represented in each race we start. Uh, we want to win in every race, so, but our main targets are, uh, like Vincenzo Nibali said, our captain, uh, Tour de France and other big races also. The Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh Saleh presided today's council meeting. The council started its meeting today by informing the members of the letter received from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister regarding the restoration of a draft law amending some provisions of the law on sewage and surface water from the Representatives Council. Concerning a draft law regulating the registration of births and deaths accompanying Royal Decree No. 91 for the year 2013, the Council decided to amend Article 10 and return Article 11 to the Committee while approving Article 12 as soon as approving the Government's text in Article 13 and returning Article 14 to the Committee for further study. The Minister of Interior, Lt. Gen. Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah al-Khalifa, attended today the graduation ceremony of the 32nd Commandos Batch. Upon arrival, the Minister was received by the Southern Governor, the Deputy Minister of Interior, the Chief of Public Security and Under Secretary of Interior Ministry and the Commander of the Special Security Force. The Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their constant support to all sectors of the Interior Ministry which increases the competence of security work. He stressed the importance of development to face all security challenges with readiness, discipline and precision. He congratulated the graduates for their success, asserting the importance of further building on what they have learned in order to raise the level of readiness to deal, to deal with all security challenges. The commander of the Special Security Force delivered a speech in which he commended the continuous support and directives of the Interior Minister, highlighting that the graduates have attained all types of advanced training courses, which has enabled them to perform their duties with efficiency. The Interior Minister congratulated the graduates and honored the excellent participants, hailing the results of the graduates, which will contribute in reinforcing security and wishing them success in their future missions.
Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa presented his credentials as a Bahraini non-resident ambassador to Canada to the Governor General of Canada, Julie Payette. Sheikh Abdullah conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the Governor General noting His Majesty's keenness to consolidate the bonds of friendship between Bahrain and Canada and develop bilateral cooperation in various fields for the benefit of both peoples. The Ambassador expressed thanks to the Governor-General for the participation of the Canadian forces in the Combined Task Force to maintain regional security and fight terrorism in the Middle East. He also affirmed Bahrain's keenness to develop bilateral relations, enhance cooperation to fight terrorism and benefit from Canadian expertise in the fields of education and healthcare. Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa met with the Speaker of the Canadian Senate, George Fury, following presenting his credentials as a Bahraini non-resident ambassador to Canada. During the meeting, the ambassador affirmed Bahrain's commitment to its reforms and sustainable development achievements in the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and an implementation of the Bahrain 2030 economic vision. For his part, Speaker of the Canadian Senate welcomed the ambassador, praising the transparency of the Bahraini government. Both parties stress the importance of enhancing cooperation between the two friendly countries to fight terrorism. The Speaker of the House of Commons, Jeffrey Regan, received Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid, hailing the economic growth of Bahrain, also expressing thanks and appreciation to Bahrain for hosting Canadian forces participating in the Combined Task Force 150. The Ambassador and the accompanying delegation also held a number of meetings with senior officials in the Canadian Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Department of National Defence, in which they discussed ways to bolster bilateral relations and intensify cooperation in the field of counter-terrorism and regional security. The Ambassador attended the meeting of the Council of Arab League Ambassadors. The Council congratulated the Ambassador on presenting his credentials as a Bahraini non-resident ambassador to Canada. He affirmed the importance of continuous coordination with the Council of Ambassador to continue joint Arab action and commended the Council's efforts to present the true image of Arab civilization. In recognition of the government of Bahrain's keenness to develop the educational sector and the Ministry of Education's role in the development of human resources and the creation of a comp competitive generation, the Ambassador met with the President of the University of Ottawa and the President of the University of Tr Carleton they discussed ways to enhance cooperation in the development field between Bahrain and Canada and ways to benefit from Canadian expertise in this sector. The ambassador delivered a lecture at the University of Ottawa about the history of the Kingdom of Bahrain and His Majesty the King's Reform Project, as well as the achievements, reforms and sustainable development in his era.